Hello everyone and welcome to a new series on Planet Zoo. Um, if you watched the last video I put up of the Indian Palace sort of speed build for this building, you can see right in front of you here, um, I was discussing sort of what I wanted to do with this building and whether it would go into Savannah Gardens or whether it would just be a blueprint or whether I make it part of a new zoo and I decided to start building a new zoo and um, that one building got me inspired to start some new things off and I didn't really want to go back into Savannah Gardens um, because I feel like that was sort of a learning curve for me um, it's my first proper project I worked on in the game and while it's all right I feel like there's so much more I can do with the game now I've learned a lot more um, I can make much better looking habitats much better looking buildings and really it's just something I want to leave behind now and start a new project um, so yeah the, the obviously the idea for this area is a, a sort of Indian themed uh, area carrying on with the theme um, the theme for the zoo it's going to be somewhere in Asia um, Although I'm, I'm not really sure on any other themes I'm doing for it. I don't want to go for any of the you know Chinese or Japanese type theming. Um, I want to do maybe sort of different parts of the world. But it's set in, in Asia. Um, so as you walk down the street. You've maybe got some sort of. So as you. Sorry as you walk into the zoo. Um, you've maybe got some of the Indian type buildings. In there, so the name that we've gone for is Sundar Zoo, um, and Sundar is I hope I pronounced that right <laughs> as it's my zoo. It's the um, H Hindi word for beautiful. So I was looking through loads of different sort of translations for you know different Hindi words for stuff like just words like world and earth and globe and that sort of thing um, and none of them come out sounding phonetically great with the translation um, I wanted something that sounds quite nice and yeah I think we've got that with the name there Sundar Zoo so as you can see now I'm just laying out some of the foundations uh, with the pathing and the, the staff facilities and all the things that you need in the park and I've just got rid of the entrance building because what will happen now that I've started work on a habitat which I should really start talking about but <laughs> I'm gonna build the entrance building in the third video so that's the first series I've ever done that in gone back to the on in any of these games gone back to the entrance in the third episode of the series um, but that's just how it worked out because I decided that that building I made was too good to to just leave so I wanted to do more with it and I've just pictured a nice habitat next to it and that's what we're working on in this one so I went for the Indian elephant habitat I mean that's probably the most popular animal to put into this theme there's only a choice I think of three different animals that you'd find in India in the game at the moment um, but yeah, this would be like the star attraction for this. Well, not attraction, but this would be the, the, the animal that people go to this area to see. Um, and yeah, to, to start with, I've just put the fr three different elephants in there. I think there's two males, one female. I'm not sure if they go in big groups or not. That's something I'll look into a bit more um, in the future. But they're quite happy enough. I've put in um, all the planting and... Um, terrain and uh, what do you call the um, I forget the word for it now the habitat things that they need um, you know all their feeders and that sort of thing I put in everything that they need um, for animal welfare and um, to start with the gate was over to the right of the habitat sort of to the right of this lake that we're looking at now um, I decided to move it in the end because I wanted it to be inside the shelter which I decided to put in a different place uh, basically where there's a bit more room for it 
so that is something that we do change. Um, obviously the terrain for this part it's not a typical like Asian terrain because I just when I started the sandbox park to make the Indian Palace I basically just selected a African but not African sorry um, sort of grasslands but the, the sandy sort of desert type land for the biome and then I think continent I just picked Asia and that's what it gave me so um, maybe not completely accurate and realistic but you know what I'm like anyway if you've seen my builds in other games you know I'm not overly concerned about realism um, I just like to make things that look nice to be honest and uh, would, I'm not great at building habitats either um, because it's not something I've done that much of but with this one I think it does what it needs to do um, there's, there's still a bit of work I'm going to do off camera just putting in some logs and stuff like that to give the animals a little bit more to um, to play with you know to interact with um, which I see a lot of other people do which I normally don't tend to really bother with but I'm going to do that before you see the cinematic at the end of this video um, on to the shelter here then well I have a couple of goes at this I was looking at doing a complete circle then cutting off half the bottom of it just really practicing on trying to do them dome shapes um, I had a bit of advice from someone in the comments the last video so thanks for that um, saying that you're better off doing it without selecting the mud pillar and just selecting the pieces that you want to rotate so um, that might be something that I'll try the next time um, like, like you see I had a couple of different goes this the first one was far too big and I didn't like the shape um, it looked more like it's the sort of dome you'd use for I don't know like a sci-fi build or something in Planko it wasn't what I was going for at all um, like you can see here it's yeah I don't know I didn't know there's probably some some sort of instances where it would fit into a zoo somewhere but just not for this one I wasn't really happy with it so um, yeah I got rid of it and started again and made a much smaller one but just using a similar style to the the dome that's on top of the palace um, it's slightly different to that one in that it sort of goes in and then comes out a bit at the top you'll see what I mean as I'm building it here um, again like the other one it took a lot of time to get right I was probably working on it for a good solid half an hour this one um, but I do really like the technique you know where you can get the the nice uh, circular shapes using the pieces the more you zoom in the more bodged you can sort of see it is with mine but from a distance they look really great um, and I think this, we've got the perfect pieces in the game to make this sort of thing what I'd say to the developers for future builds is give us some more circular and rounded shapes that we can use you know just for example if a planet goes to 2 comes out I don't know if it will or you know what they've got planned for the future I know the console version has just come out but that's something that we could really take advantage of or if we could take shapes and curve them ourselves in some way I don't know if there's any way that the game engine would make that possible but just you know some things that I can imagine I'd love to see and, and work with uh, just so you can get even more variation on your builds but we complete the dome here anyway and it looks pretty much how I wanted it to in the end I decide that I don't even want it on top of the shelter because I just feel it's a bit too themed for a habitat shelter which really just needs to be quite basic serve the purpose of giving the animals somewhere to sleep not somewhere that the guests should be focusing on um, so in fact this whole building that I put together here gets taken down and I find a different use for the dome which you'll see after we finish building the shelter here it's 
Sorry, just getting a sip of my drink there. Um, yeah, so this is about the sort of time that I, I decide that I don't want this. Um, I don't really like that building that I put there at all. So I took it down and we move the, like I say, the gate, the habitat gate for the staff to get in. Realistically, you'd probably have a separate cut off bit inside the shelter where the staff can get to, but the animals can't. So that there's that bit where they're blocked off. But like I say, we're not focusing massively on realism here. Just as long as, uh, from a gameplay perspective, the, the staff can get in and out of the habitat um, and through the shelter. You, you know, use the shelter as an access point. That's just all I really wanted to go for there. So it does take a bit of playing about with, but we get there in the end what I'm now left with though is a path that goes all the way round and the other side of it has no real purpose so what I'm going to have to do I think is build some sort of small viewing area there probably just an outside one without a roof over it or, or whatever because we've got our main viewing uh, viewing point that I put in on the other side um, because I'm always trying to think of how it looks from different perspectives as well. Um, and obviously the guests need to have a good viewpoint of the actual animals. So that they can see... You know, they, they, they can they can actually see the animals. Um, but I'd, I don't know, maybe I won't have the path going all the way around. Maybe that's a little bit much uh, to the point where it is now. This is the new shelter then. Um, this, I just googled uh, Indian elephant in zoo or something like that because um, I wanted obviously an image of, it, of an actual real life zoo rather than just copying someone else's creation on the game um, and I can't remember what zoo this is it might be Denver Zoo actually as a similar shelter to this for their Indian elephants I might be completely wrong there I can't remember uh, what the image was from that I was looking at but this yeah this is pretty much the structure I just spend ages making a really detailed roof um, which is the sort of which is a, a copy of the, the reference image I was looking at but it really does um, you know it gives the building a focal point but without making it to um, you know like the, the, the colors I've used the grays and stuff and the browns they're not too eye-catching so you know it's not like I say it's not for the guests I still wanted it to look nice but I didn't want it to be bright and sort of draw attention to, to the guests because that's not really what they're meant to be focused on and I don't think it should follow like a heavy theme as such although I still want it to fit into the area without looking out of place so what we do here, we use a pretty standard roof. I'm not sure what one it is, just one of the recolorable ones. And then lots of the sort of fin pillars turned on their side, um, just all the way along there, and then copy it over to the other side, just to give the roof some texture. Sorry, stretching my leg. Um, and then we add another roof section over the top but I build this one with the art shapes as I feel uh, you can get a much higher slope on them which is what I'm going for the highest slope on the proper roof pieces wasn't exactly as steep as I wanted it and you can't then place them exactly where you want well I suppose you can when you move them off grid but I just found it easier to do it this way. Um, it took a bit of playing about with, but I got there in the end with it. Um, like many of the things I build in this, you know, it's, um, it's a lot of experimenting. Because I'm still fairly new to this game as well. To be fair, this is only the second zoo I've had a go at building. Um, I wasn't playing it back in September or August, whenever it came out. Um, and, you know, people don't really tune into my channel for content playing this game but 
I'm sorry guys, I'm enjoying playing it at the moment. There will be um, another Parker Tech video coming up, hopefully tomorrow or the day after. Because um, I'm going to record the commentary straight after I've done the commentary for this, all being well. So hopefully uh, that will be up as soon as possible as well. Um, I've got another Planet Coaster one actually to get up as well, which I just haven't got round to doing a commentary for either, but I don't think I've got time for that as well today. So, I've, oh, like you can see, I've spent quite a lot of time playing in this game. It's just one of them I've just been inspired lately to get back into this game. And I go through phases like that where I just solidly have in my mind that I just want to play one game. And unfortunately at the moment, for you guys and for the channel, it's not the most popular one that I play. Um, but you know, it's, I, I, at the end of the day I'm going to play what, what I enjoy doing because it's just a hobby really this. Um, but I like sharing my creations with you guys. Um, even if just a couple of people see it and uh, say yeah I enjoyed watching that and give me some feedback whether it's you know whether it's good things or constructive criticism it's, it's all great to hear because it could you know help me become better at these games as well like you can see there the roof has come together nicely um, and yeah although it doesn't draw too much attention to the building it does give the building a bit of shape a bit of variety and a bit of a focal point just to make it interesting rather than a standard box. Um, I then added some sort of flower bush things to the side, like a sort of creeper on the wall, but I got rid of them because I realised that the elephants don't like them because they're from the wrong biome or continent or something. So yeah, they they get get gotten rid of. And this is the part where I go into the viewing platform this is probably the most interesting thing you're going to see me build in this video um, what I was originally going to go for was something a lot more enclosed than what I come out with I wanted something that complements the temple building next to it which by the way I didn't don't think I mentioned in the last video we're using that as a restaurant building um, there's tables and chairs inside there N not usable ones but you can see I've left the windows open for for um, so you can see straight into there there's a bit of interior sort of decor like very very light just a few things on the wall and that um, but yeah that's that's what we're going to be using it as a restaurant um, and it'll be the main sort of um, theming focus I suppose on, on the area um, but I just wanted this viewing point to complement it nicely so obviously we're using a similar dome but with a slightly different shape um, and then we're using pillars and all that sort of thing but I wanted to keep this whole thing pretty much this same sort of cream colour um, so you can you can see this is where we go to uh, to look at the elephants basically this is um, here I'm just trying to get the dome right in the centre right sorry about that my phone went off and I had to answer it um, back into the video now try and remember what we're talking about right so we're halfway through doing the viewing enclosure um, and basically yeah what I went for here was just a basic structural building all the same colour with these sort of white pillars um, it turned out pretty good in the end because I added quite a bit of little detailing and stuff and I do think it complements the restaurant building next to it quite well uh, believe it or not it, it was a good two hours work solid just for this building alone um, not everyone always says these games you do have to put a lot of time into them if you want results the, the great thing is you can just pick them up you know if you're a casual gamer or whatever and you can just play them and just use the pre-built stuff 
Do you know what I mean? The blueprints that are on there. Um, and you can probably build a zoo in a couple of hours. Um, but if you're like me, you like the custom side of things and how much you can put into the game. And that's what I really think that makes this game a lot better than the old ones, like the old zoo tycoons and stuff, where it was basically just um, you drag a bit of fence across, you stick an animal in it and give him some plants and then put some shops in. There's a little bit more to it than that, but this obviously with the mod more modern technology and the sort of modern games engine that Planet Coaster obviously used, which this uses the same. And there's so much more that you can do with it. You can customise every little part of your zoo. And that's what I love about this in Planet Coaster, how much detail you can put into things. And it really takes it to the next level. Um, I always used to find though that Roller Coaster Tycoon would always like the classic ones, 1 and 2, would always be my favourite simulation games because they give you so much more custom like opportunities to play about with things. So you're actually building each part of the coaster or the track ride or the scenery. Whereas a lot of other similar games around at that time, you're just given buildings that you put in which is great for a while, but there's no way it can keep you going as many years as as what I used to get out of Roller Coaster Tycoon. And, you know, that's wildly off topic. Um, but, you know, that's really what got me into these sort of games in the first place. And although I'm not, you know, mad on zoos or anything, like I do think this game really, really uh, nails it with the whole sort of zoo simulation type game so that's it for the build pretty much um, you can see what I've gone for there obviously the dome is the only thing that really adds the colour to it but I think it all fits in quite nicely in the end um, and it looks alright from the different angles and stuff um, and like I say I'm going to add a few more things into the habitat and then we are pretty much done with this habitat um, moving on from this like I say the next episode will be the entrance building so I'll be working on that area of the zoo um, hopefully we'll get a few viewers of this series give us a comment if you're enjoying it just or, or if you're not just let me know your thoughts on it um, fair enough if it's not your type of game do you know what I mean it's, it's not necessarily for everyone but um, I do, do hope that people are enjoying the series. Um, and obviously this is a coaster channel, you know, a coaster gaming channel. So we will be doing regular Parkitect and Planet Coaster videos still. This is just a side project that I've felt like working on. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. Enjoy the cinematic shots and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. See you later.